Hi everybody, welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds and Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. This is a requested program uh, that got sent in, I think via YouTube. Uh, someone asked if I would talk about birds' eyes and how they work and what's so unique about them. And uh, it's a great topic. I wrote an article years ago about them, but I, I realized I have not done a YouTube video about that. So birds' eyes. Uh, a few things you need to know about them is, of course, that there's been a tale for years that, you know, raptors, especially eagles and things, are looking through like eight power binoculars and their their eyes are that strong and everything. Well, that's not true. We we know that isn't true now. Uh, but we're going to take get to why birds can see so well. And the basic function of eyes and the parts of eyes uh, are, are very similar to in humans and in birds in that there are rods and cones and, and eyes, and those are the mechanisms that, that make work. And, and cones are for seeing color, and rods are for seeing in black and white. And, uh, and, and, and of course, that leads to that question, do, can birds see color? So let's get to all that. For the first part of it all, birds have very large eyes. Now, from the outside, when we look at a bird from the outside, they don't look all that large. Uh, maybe it, with an owl, they look quite a bit larger, but they they still don't look that big. But when you see a bird's skeleton, the skull, and you see the eye socket, you can really see how big a space is uh, for the owl's eye or bird's eyes. I actually think this is a chicken skeleton uh, that they. Uh, they need, uh, their eyes are quite large for the size of their face. I know years ago I was doing, uh, you know, I first started doing owl programs for the public. I remember reading that if our eyes were proportionally the same size as owls, our eyes would be the size of tennis balls. So that's, uh, you know, quite large. Now, large eyes are filled with heavy liquid which makes them very heavy. So why in the world, it, it, you know, whenever you're a bird that uh, uh, it depends on flight to live, having heavy parts of your body is definitely not smart. Or, or it's not typical. You know, they have, birds only have one kidney. They only have one ovary. They, there's a lot that, that uh, it had to do with weight reduction in birds. So why these heavy eyes? Well, they have to because the eyes are so important. Smell is a very poorly developed sense in birds. You see how small the sinus passages would be on a bird versus the eyes. So eyes are really, really important to birds. So for them, they, a lot of energy, a lot of uh, weight and everything say sacrifice to go uh, into being able to see really, really well. Now they also believe that scientists believe that the the reason uh, the 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 weight of these eyes is a primary reason why birds don't have teeth, because teeth are very heavy, and so the losing teeth for light for losing weight for reduced weight, uh, it, the eyes had something to do with that because you couldn't have too heavy head uh, parts of your body you know and still be able to fly. So that's pretty interesting. So the eyes have to be very big and. A lot of birds that have big eyes, especially like owls, the uh, the eyes are pretty much fixed in their skull, so they don't have uh, the ability to you know look to the left and your peripheral vision. You don't have you can't dart your your eyes to the right or to the left. Owls can't do that; they're fixed in the socket, so they have to be able to turn their heads to be able to see. And then the uh, the skeleton picture, you can see how many of their neck vertebrae or cervical vertebrae they have. Birds range from 8 to 25 vertebrae in their neck. Uh, it depends on the species, but that's a lot more because they have to be able to turn their heads to see all around. And then, you know, the old thing about owls uh, being able to turn their heads all around and around, and that is not true, but they can turn and snap their heads back very, very quickly. So you got big eyes, and you, that means you have larger retina in the back of your eyes, so they, they're able to capture images. And they also have uh, a lot more, in owls, they have a lot of rods in their eyes for be seeing more efficiently in black and white. And I said cones are for color, so a lot of birds have more cones in their eyes. for, uh, and, and this is where the, the misbelief of 
they can see a lot stronger than they can, but they, they can't. It's all about acuity. They see that little black speck up in the sky like you and I do when there's a bird flying over, but instead of seeing a little black speck, they see the details and they know that that's a bird and they can see details of it because their eyes are that much sharper. And, uh, and it has to do with the configuration and the size of their retina and the number of cones they have in their eyes. It's, it's, it's a pretty fascinating topic. And they, it, you know, as we, when we talk about discouraging birds with like woodpeckers hitting on your side of your house, we're always telling you that they're visual deterrents. You, you, you need to take measures that are uh, like the rubber snakes and things because uh, birds are very uh, uh, keen to their senses. They're, they're, they're attuned to that and that's what they uh, cue on to find food. That's what they cue in on to, to find enemies. And so uh, eyesight's very, very important to birds. So. It's a fascinating topic, kind of learning the more detailed biology of birds. So the eyes have it. So great idea for a program. Thanks for sending that in. I'm always asking for you to send in ideas for future programs. So there's a reminder. Give us a like. Give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications. Until next time, come on, let's talk birds.